like when Frenchie was trying to put his shit out, they wanted to beef and 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 do shit. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. to him or whatever. But and, and even with my young boy that was shooting the videos, I think Mazio, like Jim, had some security guards, some six eight niggas beat up a little eighteen year old boy that shoot videos. Like that's corny shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if you read all the interviews and shit, I mean the comments on the on the on the interviews that I've done. All of them saying I'm bullying him, so I'm like, nah, you see what I'm saying? But he, but he got a six eight nigga beating on an eighteen year old kid just because he done an interview with somebody. Like, let the cameraman be the cameraman, my nigga. Like all that sabotaging and trying to monopolize the game. Like, stop that shit because when the cameras is off, them the conversations we have. Like, with Def Jam, pay up all the radio slots. So Dipset, we can't give up a record because. De Dev Jam and bought out all the slots. So the same shit that hurt you, you see what I'm saying? And you spoke on, you would turn right around and do the same shit. Like that shit corny. Like, shout out to Alan Grum Black. And he was at Koch, they got E1 now. He went to school out here on 95th Street. So he felt there was a need to do business with me. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to sign the next movement. The Global Gangsters, what was popping and still popping. But his whole company and when i walked through the building they was like oh shit you about to sign them yes yes you know the the whole company was frantic everybody in there the office was frantic and actually it was uh me uh shout out big you he was doing he was he was pulling on nipsey hustle project and i want to say pistol pete from um kar was up there too matter of fact right and we did it uh and steve lobel shout out them so we was up there and shit, so he wanted to do the deal, but of course he had one person he had to ask when it was all said and done, what's up? And ballin' was just taking off, you know what I'm saying? So it was like we breaking bread with him already, and I'm quite sure he told him we beefing or whatever, we don't, we don't mix or we don't mingle. So he called me back and was like, I got the green light on you to do everything, you know, everything you said stood up, but keep your options open. So I knew what time it was, you know what I'm saying? And that's corny shit to me, cause it never, it never had to be like that. We don't want, we don't only do shit, but what they doing, you know what I'm saying? Fucking yeah. some bitches, traveling, and enjoying life. We do that anyway, and all of them know that. You know what I'm saying? We do that now, we live like rappers now. You feel me? So at the end of the day, it's like, now it's bigger than that. Y'all see the news. Google fucking Chicago news, man. This is about to ask you like, Speaking speak, speak on, on, on the gang life here, man. Like. Man, the gang life is not supposed to be... Like, we wasn't a gang. We consider organized crime. That's first off. The time God he got, that's the time I can get. You feel me? The, the time he can get, the next one can get. You feel me? Like, this ain't no gang shit. We organized crime. So that's two different stories. You feel me? That's just like a nigga starting a rap group. That's what a gang is considered to us. That ain't shit to us. So, me coming from that, I don't want to tell nobody about that life. Because that's not the life they really want. And I know that. No, Everybody want to enjoy life. You feel me? But when you step into them organized crimes or that gangbanger lifestyle, they don't want that. You're going to die over a red jacket. You're going to die over a blue symbol. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... What happened, it was the misinterpretation of gangs, the misrepresentation of what it was for. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then when you got the blind leading the blind, what you gonna come up with? A bunch of blind motherfuckers. So how, 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 how do you feel about like gangs coming to New York? I hate it. Like, I hate it. I was the only vocal nigga, Me True Life, Saigon, Maino, we was the only niggas that was rapping in New York saying we wasn't feeling that shit. I didn't go, I didn't bite for the excuse that, oh, the, the Spanish, the Latins against the blacks. Spanish motherfuckers is black. The first civilization of men was in Africa, man. So if you just do your history, I don't give a fuck the shade, the shade of color, of complexion of your skin. Nigga, if we have a baby right now in fucking Alaska and if it's never no son, his ass gonna be pale. You see what I'm saying? But if you look at both of the parents, they might be as dark as us. So at the end of the day, it's not nothing I'm saying. Google fucking hidden colors. Google hidden colors and, and watch what come up. Go on YouTube, search hidden colors and watch what come up. So if, if, if you know first man from civilization started in Africa, come on my nigga, like, 
It's just when people travel. When they travel, they went to other parts and other climates of the world. And if, and, and if, if I'm an albino and I have a child with another albino, you see what I'm saying? You just going to keep that albino shit going on. You see what I'm saying? Like it's just going to stay with that. And that's just really what it was, some science type shit. Like, I don't control that. But to be a, say you was a game banger because it was the Latins against the blacks, you motherfuckers should have sat in the chow hall at the motherfucking table with the food and say, look, what is we doing? You African, I'm African. I don't give a fuck about what island you talking about you come from. The Africans was over there. You know what I'm saying? The Moors was over there traveling over there. That's how the fucking island got built. That's why every island, wherever you go, any city, you're going to catch that ethnic group of people. You're going to catch a dark complexion version of them. I don't give a fuck where you go. Wherever you go, from Colombia, and all of them, they do some racism shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you ask yourself, why is there so much hate against this darker complexion? Like, that's crazy, my nigga. Like, it, it's just fucked up. So, I'm not going to buy that, oh, I'm a blood. Because it's Latin against motherfucking um, Latins and black. Well, why the fuck y'all wasn't Black Panthers? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why you didn't start some black revolutionary? Why you wasn't black guerrilla family? You see what I'm saying? Like, don't that ain't no that ain't no legitimate excuse to me. That's bullshit. And especially, and, and and it just and it was it, that shit just it was corny, man. I don't give and I always spoke my opinion on that shit. All my family members or whatever, I told them niggas in New York, if you want to be some gang nigga, start your own shit. Get your green fucking bandana and rep that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't go trying to just take no shit that came from here, went to L.A., and go make it your own way. Like, well, we the East Coast fraction of and all that. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Then they gonna. Did you, did you ever have, so you had that conversation with them, you saying, basically. He know that. I don't, what the fuck? If I'm running with you, you trying to be a part of something that you're not. First off, the nine tray shit, that's a crip set in LA. You feel me? So, how the fuck is you. What is you doing? I'm telling them even from that. But I just fell back from that shit. Learn the hard way. Now you barred out of cities. Can't go get your money in here and there because of this shit. I told them this way before all of this was going to happen. Because them cities not used to that shit, man. They not used to that shit. The youth. Wilding out and doing it the way that they think it's supposed to be, that's that's not how it goes. You know, and it was like because I didn't want to share that side of the world with him or that type of life with him, he was aggy about it. You know what I'm saying? But fuck it. Turn to gangland, nigga, if you wanna know. Watch that shit on gangland. And you see it ain't pretty. You gonna see it's a bunch of motherfuckers on there telling you that if they not inform it's now, you see what I'm saying? With they fucking face blurted out. That they wish they didn't never do that shit. They wish, you know, it's a bunch of shit. You know, so as grown men, I'm a man before I'm anything. That gang shit don't hold no weight with me, man. You fuck over me, I'm a fuck over you. Simple as that. So I don't need no gangs. I condemn the considering ones for cowards. I don't need a gang of motherfuckers to do nothing. I'm going to do my dirt all by my lonely. You feel me? That's how I was raised. That's how I was brought up. One man hit me, I'm hitting his ass back. Ain't no turning no fucking over other cheek over here that ain't happening so when you need a nigga that got a hundred motherfuckers with him and he tough he's a coward i don't give a fuck what part of the world he in if he got a group of motherfuckers to do his dirty work do dirty work for him he's a coward and i'm saying it again <laughs> and it's simple as that i don't give a fuck about that so that, that, that really like i say i just seen him he brought chrissy they just had a, 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 a party at my at the club one of my partners own a club. So we so got you're straight now. We don't you know what I'm saying? Go At your way. Day, we nah. ain't gonna do no shaking no hands. We can. I don't hate them. Even when the first shit I told them, like I don't I don't despise them. I don't wish no bodily harm on them or none of that. You know what I'm saying? But I just have to walk away from you because you let me know you didn't wanna see me make it in life, basically. Fuck me feeding my kids, you see what I'm saying? Like nigga, I could have stayed in the street, get me how I get it, or do whatever. But I don't. I want to make a transition. I don't want to keep the feds and this nigga wearing wires and this one wearing wires. I don't want to keep going through that shit. So why you can't just be a man of your word? If this car shit jump off, Joe, me, you, shout out to Stags, we get Ferraris, all this big dream shit. 
You feel me? Yeah, I get a Ferrari, but I got it on my own. You feel me? Like, he didn't get my Ferrari. He not going to get my Ferrari. And now that the shit went public, it, it's kind of, you know, you don't want to mean nothing that went public. But I still, it's still no body. It's still, I still don't wish no harm on the kid, man. Just do you. You see what he doing. He on TV, he crying. He trying to have a baby. You know what I'm saying? Live life. That's all I was telling him to do from, from the jump street. So he has to be the bigger man. He know how to get my number. He know how to call me. I ain't hard to find. You know what I'm saying? Big bro. I, I understand. The shit was wrong. Whatever. Don't make me think I can't trust you, though. You see what I'm saying? But he know that. He done seen me way too many times. And he knows me. Fuck what everybody else think. He know how I get out. He know, he know everything about me. How I move. How I rock. He knows that. So at the end of the day, I just wanted the best for him. That was it. It wasn't no... No bullshit. I was willing to merge both together, Dipset and the Global Gangsters, and let's go. Let's make music. You see it's happening in the South. You know what I'm saying? You see Lil Wayne, Ross, Khaled, all them niggas, they all them working together. You feel me? Khaled to pull all them niggas in together. Why the fuck we can't do it? Like, come on, man. Like, it's, we got to come together one day. How about the, the artists in Chicago? Uh, most of the people here like together or a lot of people know. with each other? It's still a bunch of bullshit. And now what they happen to old niggas is damn near in the dust. They might well build a grave. You know what I'm saying? And the young niggas then took over. So shout out to the Lil Dirks, the Chief Keeps, the Lil Reese, the Young Chop that making, that's making all they beats. He's the next Kanye we gonna say. I don't know if he gonna be that, but fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna hurt me to plug them. You see what I'm saying? But when other niggas do interviews, do they shout out the Global Gangsters and they know who keep this motherfucker at the forefront. So that be the thing, like, but I don't get upset about that because what the next person ain't gonna vouch or say for us, we gonna do on our own. So you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So yeah, but shout out them little guys, man. You know, they, they turning it up around here, but that's the youth. Them kids be lost. They don't got shit to do. Now, do I want them to speak on more positive things? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because my son died. He got shot nine times at 15 years old. So this shit ain't just talk to me with the gangs. You feel me? Jim know that. Them niggas know that. You feel me? Like, niggas know that. So at the end of the day, like, that ain't no shit to glorify. He a goon. He a gangster. He trying to follow his daddy footsteps. His daddy wasn't stupid, though. You got, it's like poker. You got to know when to hold, know when to fold. You can't just keep going around terrorizing motherfuckers, man. You got to learn one day. That coward going to damn near kill you because he's scared. Some of the toughest niggas done got killed by a coward. You see what I'm saying? Because he, he, he's scared. He don't know what else to do. His back against the wall, he don't know what the fuck to do. Now he crazy the rest of his life because he done killed the motherfucker and that wasn't what he do. So, you know, that's why, I, like, you know, it ain't no... Oh, he getting older, he getting softer. I love my brothers, man. All of them. I don't give a fuck what shade or color they are. Like I said, y'all asses is good. Africans. That's good to know, man. Like let the people know like they haven't seen you in a minute that you haven't changed. Still the same. No, I'm still the same dude.